Let me continue my victory lap against the Democrats. And let me start by saying, by repeating, that if anybody tell you that the Democrats lost because more black people voted Republican, that is a lie. Democrats lost because fewer black men, mainly, fewer black men showed up to vote at all. We are not gonna go vote for a bunch of neo-Nazis, but we are not voting for the Democrats anymore either. And I hope we continue this trend and I hope more of us join brothers like myself and stop voting, stop participating in this madness. We don't get nothing out of American politics but headaches. It is gonna give us headaches whether we participate and support their agendas or not. So we might as well don't support their agenda and just, just, just take whatever headaches they're gonna give us because we're gonna get headaches anywhere it goes. But let me talk about the Democrat trifecta. The, the Democrat trifecta is what they've been relying on for the last 20 something years, right? And that's feminism, gay and trans stuff, and immigrants. This has been their, their trifecta. And around 2020, they added a plus one, which was COVID. Biden really showed his ass on COVID. The neoliberals showed their ass on COVID. On COVID. The Democrat party was supposed to be the party of freedom. The other thing people are saying is that we need to blame racism. We need to blame misogyny, which of course, right? Racism and misogyny aren't going anywhere. Racism and misogyny aren't going anywhere, but are we gonna really pretend that the Democratic Party is some type of bastion of freedom? Yeah, that's where the hippies at, the liberals at. You never expect them to tell you you gotta get locked down. In every conservative state, right, after Hurricane Katrina, blacks from, from, from New Orleans, we moved to all these conservative states, right? And the club shut down at two o'clock. You know, they couldn't serve alcohol after 12 o'clock. You couldn't buy alcohol on Sunday. It was all kinds of crazy stuff that we wasn't used to because we didn't come from an environment like that. Usually conservatism is more restrictive on your, on your freedoms, not liberalism. The liberal side was supposed to be all for your rights to do, to pursue your own happiness the way you choose. And this just goes to prove that we don't have a true liberal party, a true liberal wing of America no more. This is just two, two types of conservatism. That's what we're dealing with. But what Biden did under COVID, man, that was crazy. And I remember saying that, bro, we should not forget about this. We should not forget about these forced lockdowns, telling you that you can't socialize with your friends, telling you you gotta stay six feet apart from people. You can't go see relatives. You can't, you, you can't go out. There's nothing, no entertainment. We gotta remember this stuff all behind a virus that they said officially had a 99% survivability rate. Meaning that only 1% of the people that might can catch it will get sick enough to really perish if that happens. I don't know what planet y'all come from where anything, say a 2%. I don't know what planet y'all come from where anything that has uh, that, that can only affect 2% of the population is, is considered a, a, a national threat. But every time you talk to one of these liberal suckers, you know what I'm saying, they start trying to do all the multiple math. Well, still, that's that's so many hundred thousand people. Man, I, no, that's, it don't work that way. These numbers are based on what they're saying. Most of the people that they told were sick didn't even know they were sick. We can't forget about what they showed us, though, that peak behind the door of what they're planning through medical stuff. Right now, they're trying all type of medical coalitions where the, w, um, where the World Health Organization has complete power over other nations, you know what I'm saying? So the next time they come with a pandemic, it's gonna be the WHO that's gonna decide everything, not your government. You won't have no rights. You got a, you got a board of 50 people somewhere that you don't even know making decisions on the whole globe because they say something is out there that we can't see and verify. But I told y'all, don't forget. That was really the, the, the final results of where they want to take us. They want to take us to total government control. Biden got on TV and said that your rights don't matter. This is America. My rights don't, are the only thing that's supposed to matter. My individual rights are the only thing that's supposed to matter. Isn't this what y'all have y'all lesbians saying? That is their body. My rights is my body. Isn't this what y'all have women saying? But I got to get forced to take a vaccine that I don't want. It's not my body no more. 
See, these are the inconsistencies that we've seen in these Democrats, man, during COVID. The forced lockdowns, people losing their jobs. He figured out a way to go to the schools and say that the kids can't go to school if they don't take shots. The people can't go to work if they don't take shots. All the nurses that lost their jobs, all the doctors that lost their jobs, all the executives and people that work regular jobs that just lost their jobs because they refused to get stuck with this stuff. And Biden was fine with that. Fine. And all the Democrats were too. All the black Democrats. Not one black Democrat went, went against the grain. Not one of them said, hey man, you can't be locking down people. Not one of them said, but you can't force people to lose their jobs like that. Not one of them said anything in our defense. Nothing was adding up. The information was all convoluted and crazy. And not to mention a lot of it contradicted itself. It just didn't add up. They was lying from the very, very beginning. But the media was behind it. They had all the academics behind it. And I told people, don't forget this feeling. This was almost four years ago. I told everybody I would talk to, do not forget this feeling. So when you go to them, when you go vote, you remember right now what you're going through, the misery you're going through, the fact that you're uncertain if you're going to pay your rent. You people getting evicted and all kinds of stuff. You remember this stuff because they did this, the Democrats. Now, unfortunately, people took that as an endorsement for the Republicans back then. I had to correct a whole lot of people. Y'all, y'all brains are so simple. Me saying something about one party doesn't mean that I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm endorsing the other party. That's not how that goes, people. This zero sums thing, y'all got to get away from that. That's not how life really goes. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't mess with either party. But this was about that party particularly. I want y'all to remember what it was like if you had a YouTube channel, right? Or just if you were just on social media and you made so much as a comment against the government, against what they were saying, how your, how your channel got frozen, how your account got deleted, how your comments got removed. I want you to remember that. Total government tyranny, censorship, all the things they always accuse the Republicans of doing, this didn't come from Republicans. This came from Democrats. I want you to remember that. I want you to remember how they treated us. I want you to remember that they didn't give us the option to do research on your own. How the, how the, the liberal media got their asses on TV and said, we will tell y'all what's what. You don't, you don't do no research or do nothing. We are going to tell you what you should know and believe. They say that. They literally said that, bro. Because they know people wasn't listening to him. People was listening to the YouTube channels. So Biden got up there and he got with the YouTube, the Facebook, and all these executives. And they started censoring everything you said. This is why Rumble was created. This is why Elon Musk bought Twitter. Because the censorship was real. You couldn't even, you couldn't even cast your own views on it. I want you to remember that, how they called you an anti-vaxxer because you don't want to get vaccinated. Put a label on you, make you sound like you crazy or something. There are a lot of people that don't, you have a lot of people that are into health and natural healing and everything. That's their right, people. This ain't got nothing to do with no being no damn anti-vaxxer. Suppose a person just not into that kind of health. Suppose a person wants to take care of himself his way or her way. This is your right. They didn't want to give you that right. They don't want you to have no other option outside of them and they want to control everything. Because once you become totally dependent on them, you are a slave. You got to peep into the plans of neoliberalism with Biden. Remember, Biden is not a real liberal. He never was. That's why Obama chose him as a running mate because he was conservative. He's always been racist. He's always been a conservative. He's always been a bigot. But these people move in strange ways the way they operate. You know what I'm saying? They're they real crafty. They hide what they are behind little token gestures. You know what I'm saying? Like putting a black woman on the Supreme Court. You know, little token gestures. They hide what they really are by things like that. But the truth is, they bought black women. Black women are going to do whatever the Democrat Party say do. And that goes back. Now we get off of COVID and go to the women thing.